Hello everyone. I am here this morning at a property that we are getting ready to destage. It's a dreary, rainy, gray morning. I've got my coffee. Get me going. But I thought I'd give you guys a quick house tour. It's a pretty big house, so I'm going to go quick. I'm starting in the basement rec room right now, which we set up as a movie viewing fun family room space. You can see the pub table there behind me with uh, some candies on there, Twizzlers, pretzels, popcorn, that kind of thing. And then continued the movie theme here on the sectional with the fun black and white tiles that were already in the home that we had to work around. So now we're gonna go upstairs um, and we're gonna see the really pretty kitchen has been fully renovated. Um, and pretty black granite counters, good stainless appliances. We just did some lifestyle vignettes. Behind me, we did a coffee bar um, so that you could really envision waking up in the morning and coming down and making yourself a good cup. And then here is probably my favorite room of the house. It's the sunroom attached off the kitchen. So instead of having the actual kitchen table in the kitchen, the island bumps out as a peninsula or the countertops bump out as a peninsula. And we have not only a really cool sitting area over here, but we also have the breakfast table. And then outside here, let's see if we can peek through the doors. We've got our patio set. Um, in the actual screen and porch area, um, looking out onto the beautiful backyard. Definitely a really cool selling feature. And then if we go to the front of the house, we have an enormous dining room. It really is quite large. Uh, this table seats eight easily. We have six chairs shown at it, but this room is huge. It could totally seat probably a table for 12 to 14 with no problem. Into the foyer stairs going up, we have the beautiful entryway pulled together there. Uh, and then we are going into the formal living room here off the front side of the house. So we have sofa seating set up to enjoy cozy fireplace maybe, you know, play another little family game without having to go to the basement, or that could be a reading nook with coffee or wine in the evening. And then if we go past the fireplace, there's a nice little cut through that allows us to go into what we've staged as a home office. So in here, we've got a great desk, sitting area, and then this is, room has a fireplace as well. So it's dual-sided fireplace. And we've just added some really cool gold sprayed antlers, believe it or not, um, down there in the hearth and for something different other than just a stack of wood. Got some really cool modern art there on the walls, uh, the desk and a laptop and some reading glasses because we all need a little help now, don't we? Um, and then again, if clients are coming over, there's a sitting area for them. And then if it's a manly meeting, you know, maybe a little bourbon cigar, something, whatever. Again, another sitting area available in the office. And then really quickly, let's go upstairs. We have several bedrooms. We've got four bedrooms up here, two of which were staged. The master is ginormous. So we have, again, another sitting area facing what would be the TV. Again, you guys know I like to use art in lieu of TVs to get us the color needed um, in photography for listing photos. So then we pan around, we've got beautiful tufted chairs, a king size bed, full size nightstands, beautiful mercury glass lamps, artwork. And then over here behind me on the other wall, they've got a large built in, which we staged with some wine for the evening. And the sign says wine because no great story ever started with a salad, didn't it? And then in the bathroom, they had a beautiful stained glass window that we played off the creamy yellows with, with the bath towels and just accessorized and kept it simple. 
Sometimes less is more, especially in a bathroom that has really cool features like the cloth lid bathtub. Off the master and adjacent is a sitting room. Dressing room could be a nursery, could be her office space, but we chose to make this just a um, makeup vanity area for uh, the lady of the home. And then last but not least, we have the guest room down the hallway. And this we made as um, adults staying over versus children's spaces. So this would be if mom and dad come to stay or if you have friends and family over for the weekend. Obviously plenty of room in here. And then adult bedding and artwork that really showcases the size of the space. So this one sold super fast. Brooke Miller and her team here in Fredericksburg listed this, marketed it amazing, worked with the reconstruction or the construction crew to rehab it um, while the clients were out of the state. And it really looks great. There were some good decisions made. The flooring, the marble tiles, uh, the bathroom counters, all of those things were really upgraded and thought through and uh, the house looks great. It sold super fast, sold at list price maybe a little bit more. I have to look that up, I can't quite remember. But anyway, thought I'd finish the day or the video with a shot of my favorite room for you guys to look at there behind me. Um, but we're gonna pick this one up. I've got another one to destage up in Woodbridge this week. And then one more staging we're squeezing in before the weekend on Friday. And then guess what? I get to go camping with my daughter and some more Girl Scouts. I'm excited and looking forward to it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Talk to you later. Bye.